County Special School District paraprofessional is the first in the state to become a deaf-blind intervener. People with these credentials have high-level training working with students who are deaf and blind. Our Cassandra Webb joins us now to explain this unique job and why more deaf-blind interveners are needed. Cassandra. Laura, about 245 students in Arkansas are being served under the DeafBlind Census. Pulaski County Special Schools has 18 students on the DeafBlind Census. Now we know skilled paraprofessionals and teachers are working with these students every day, but there's only one person in the entire state with the certification to really help these students excel. Nikia Morris helps students who are deaf blind get information that they can't get through seeing or hearing. You know, you're just kind of bridging the gap. Nikia works one on one with a student, helping them with communication and understanding concepts, as deaf blindness is a unique dual sensory impairment. It affects communication and development. It affects your cognitive, you know, it affects you behaviorally. Morris says it's the perfect job for her. Because when I was two, I was diagnosed with um, a rare form of eye cancer, retinoblastoma, which caused the removal of my right eye. Helping her relate to the students she serves. So now I can help these kids and be a voice for them, the, the kids who can't communicate for themselves. Kids like Riley, who Morris has worked with since he was in preschool. He became family for me. Though Riley's graduated, his face still lights up when he knows Morris is there. Riley calls her mom and Nikki. Riley's mom, Michelle. Having someone trained who really loved him and wanted to see him succeed was vital to his success in school. And she says Morris's three-year training and initiative touched her heart. You know, there was no monetary benefit. There was no, you know, there was nothing like that. She just said, I want to help and I want to be the best care professional I can be. Now, there is a growing national support for deafblind interveners in public schools. Basically, we need more of them. The Cogswell Macy Act is in the U.S. Congress right now. It aims to strengthen the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. The goal is to improve results for deaf, hard of hearing, blind, visually impaired, and deafblind children. And you can read so much more about the Cogswell Macy Act. It's all on our website, kark.com.